Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Sun conjunct one's natal Saturn. Now, we're talking about transits uh, of the Sun astrology. It can be about what we're putting our focus, intention, and concentration of energy on. And given that we're talking about the transit of the Sun to one's natal Saturn, a lot of this focus, attention, and concentration of energy, it could be on one's um, sorrows in, in some instances. If you have Saturn in the 12th house, sometimes this could be you know, the focus on a, a passing of a father or a restricted connection uh, with a father. Now, it could also be where one uh, puts a lot of attention more so on one's uh, career more so uh, than usual. It could be, I mean, if it's like Saturn and Scorpio, it could be some you know, something with a you know, career connected with astrology, the occult, supernatural, locksmithing, surgery, uh, some kind of investigation. And uh, it's also about focusing on hard labor, laborious efforts. Uh, this is something, too, where we also we want to perhaps look at our fears more so uh, than usual uh, at this point in time. And also, this is about uh, really focusing on one's limitations and one's restrictions uh, as well. If you have Saturn in the second house, it could be some limitation uh, connected with your self-worth, your self-esteem. It could be something of a monetary nature. If it's, say, Saturn in Gemini in your second house, as an example, uh, this could be something maybe you feel there's some limitation in your communication ability, your versatility about being diversified, and maybe that's having an effect on how you feel about yourself, your self-worth, your self-esteem, or maybe even a monetary uh, situation uh, as well. Maybe there's some lack of diversity that you feel you have that might be tied in to maybe a limitation in your income. Now, also to remember that uh, Saturn is also about authority. This is, and if the transit sun hits us, there might be some attention put on uh, one's, uh, it, it could be an authority figure that you may know. Um, it could be maybe you being put into some position uh, of authority. There might be just more of a general focus on being in that position where you're some, maybe some leadership capacity or you're leading, you're, you're, you're a manager over somebody, whether it's, it's something temporary or might be permanent. Uh, this could be also to remember that Saturn is also about structure and discipline. So this could really uh, put, some, put a lot of, I mean, shine the light or so to speak on any matters with structure and discipline. If you have this in your fourth house, it could be on your, your home life. Maybe this is where you're putting that attention uh, at this point in time. And also, Saturn is associated with responsibilities. So this could be a time where you really home in on these responsibilities. If there's something that you've been procrastinating on or there's been some hesitation of some kind in terms of something that you were you were responsible for, say this is in your eighth house, this, if this transit takes place in the eighth house, it could be over some insurance or tax uh, related matter. If it's safe, it's Saturn and Pisces in the eighth house, as an example. It could be some responsibility. Maybe in some cases, it could be some tax evasion in some isolated cases, or maybe you were dealing with a fraudulent insurance matter. It doesn't mean you were necessarily uh, you know, one that was uh, guilty of it. It could be somebody that filed something again, you know, with you. Um, say if you're involved in insurance and somebody might have filed some false, you know, you know fallacious uh, insurance matter maybe uh, against you or or what have you. Um, I mean, those are those are some ways that can manifest and pan out. Now, as far as anatomically, Saturn uh, corresponds with the knees, the bones, the joints, uh, the hamstrings. This could be uh, something where you might. Put some, you know, some attention on this uh, at some at some point. It could put uh, a focus on matters with the knees, the bones, the joints, the hamstrings. Uh, it could be the skin, uh, the teeth, especially if you have this, say, if you have this in your first or your sixth house, 
uh, in your um, in your natal chart because the first house of course is associated with the physical body the sixth house is associated with physical health issues and debilitations now Saturn by itself Saturn is actually could be associated with chronic uh, debilitations if you have this in Scorpio say you might be putting your attention on some kind of issue with the prostate or the bladder uh, at this time uh, if it's in Gemini, it could be some issues like with your arms or your hands or some carpal tunnel syndrome that might require more attention, more so than usual. And two, this could also be sadly a period of very restricted, limited vitality and energy. Remember, the sun is about our vitality, our energy. Saturn is associated with restrictions and limitations. Now, Saturn is also connected with the biological father, I'm sorry, uh, well, the sun is associated with the biological father and, and children as well. Now, the fact that if you have this transit and it's contacting, the transit sun contacting your natal Saturn, this could be a time where the biological father or children might be giving you maybe more responsibilities at this time. You might have certain, um, you, might, you might have more things that you may have to do for them, or it could simply be that these people might be appearing to be a little bit more colder, more callous, more so than usual, or maybe the connection is somewhat limited or restricted at this time. Remember the transit takes like about five days to complete. If you're using a three degree applying conjunction aspect and a two degree separating conjunction aspect, you're looking at about five days because the sun moves about one degree Per day so it's about a five-day transit you're looking at it really does, doesn't really last that long but it could still shine the light so to speak on Saturn related issues during uh, the transit remember the Sun is also about our left could be connected with the left or right eye depending on gender so there might be when you have this transit I mean, Saturn can be about our difficulties our limitations there might be some eye issue or difficulty during this time in some isolated cases. Say if you have this transit in Pisces, it could be where the vision is somewhat obscured or it's blurry or unclear. In Gemini, it might be, say, double vision in some isolated cases. Now, another thing, too, is that this transit can also shine the light, so to speak, on some fear or something that puts you in a strong state of trepidation. So like in my case, I have to, uh, Saturn in Taurus in my 12th house in my natal chart as an example. This could be some kind of uh, fear that's connected, I mean, uh, for me, maybe um, it might be a fear of, of maybe wanting to be self-reliant or independent, or a fear of not being self-reliant or independent, being in my 12th house. It could maybe, maybe that has to do with some reclusive tendencies, secluded habits, because as a result, maybe I've isolated um, myself for, from others, and it might shine the light on that fear, so to speak. Um, it could also be, I mean, in, in some cases, when you have a trans, this transit, this could be some kind of notoriety or recognition or exposure one may get for something that is career uh, related. And I mean, if it's something like you, know, you have this in Aquarius, for example, it might be something connected with computers or electronics or innovation, especially if you have this, say, in, the, in one of the money houses in astrology, like the second, the second house, the sixth house, the tenth house are all, are basically, they are the money houses, the house where we potentially generate uh, income from. Now. Another thing, too, is that looking at this transit, sadly, though, this could also be um, something, uh, you know, it could shine the light on someone, with, again, some kind of limitation or restriction, or it could also be, remember, the sun is about our life. And at this time, I mean, Saturn is that despondent, gloomy planet. During this transit, which lasts approximately five days, it could be where life for you may seem a little bit more depressing or you might feel a little more despondent during this time and being very negative, overly pessimistic, seeing a lot of negative aspects or elements of your life. My suggestion is during this time, maybe what's important is 
to, to use, utilize this transit to try to gain, you know, if, you, if you're lacking it, to gain more structure and discipline in your life, more consistency, because those are things, positive elements of Saturn can be about. Hold on a moment. Sorry about that, Matt. but anyway, and also, too, again, it can be very, I mean, an excessively pessimistic um, period. Um, remember that the sun, all in astrology, does rule the heart, and, I mean, it's connected with the spine as well. You can look at having more figurative backbone, so to speak to go after things that are career related, your ambitions, attaining a greater stature in life. It could be about ha manifesting having the heart to take care of business related matters, more attaining those ambitions, those career desires you may have. And, and really too at this time, and also to face perhaps your fears and your limitations or your restrictions. Maybe with Saturn in the 12th house, I do believe some of my Restrictions might be tied into self-sabotage at times. Uh, this is something where we have to all, looking at this, that in some cases authority people, people that are prominent in authority, uh, in, you know, the prominent authority figures in your life, say if you're in a subservient or subordinate role, your position, your job, these people might give you more work and responsibility more so uh, than usual to handle. Uh, and let's say if you have this in the zodiac sign Leo, you have to be careful about really excessive exertion and, and just overdoing it because Leo energy can be really about, you know, not really always wanting to acknowledge that we had some kind of limitation in whatever we're doing, whether it's vitality or what have you. Uh, remember, the sun is about our energy, it's about vitality. Saturn is about laborious work in, in the industry. Uh, if it's in Virgo, you have this trans in Virgo, it could be about really a lot of them. Um, it could be an authority figure giving you a lot more work to do as far as cleaning, organizing. It could be extrapolating data. It could be also too, I mean, if you and if you have that in Virgo in the third house as an example, the cleaning Maybe it would be a little bit more superficial and more mobility connected with it, maybe more so than usual, but you still nonetheless, you know, may have a lot more, you know, work to do during that time. Now, and this is uh, really, I mean, like in my case, I have, if I have this in fall of my 12th house again, and it's, it could be for me, for example, have my manifest be a focus on some on the unknown putting me in a strong state of trepidation and it could shine the light so to speak on rather you know reclusive tendencies more so than usual so anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment until next time people edwin learns and stay well